and welcome to the webinar today wonderful day and really excited i have so many questions from all of you who uh, asked the questions in the survey i have four pages of questions i don't know if i have time to get to them all but i'm going to do my best so today i'm going to show you a few things about qigong meditation and we're going to do a little bit of guided meditation as usual and then we're going to get to the questions right away so if you don't know who i am my name is david wong i am the founder of chi life mastery i'm also the uh, qigong energy practitioner and i'm also the inventor of qi coil and resonant wave systems wellness technologies i'm also a film producer music producer and martial artist and what i'm here today to do is to share with you how i went on my journey from being in disease to become healthy from being broke to become successful from being in depression and anxiety and fear to becoming very happy very centered and calm and abundant so i hopefully my journey is going to help you um, on your journey so that you can get to where you want to be where uh, as fast as possible with as little getting stuck as possible so you saw the email in this webinar and in all my webinars we're going to share with you how to attract abundance how to become the best that you can be aligned to your true purpose aligned to your heart's true purpose uh, your purpose in this life so that you can be fully fulfilled and fully um, manifested in your lifetime so before we continue let me share with you our Manifestors Manifesto. So this is our community manifesto that we came up with. And here, here you can repeat after me if you're listening at home. So Manifestors Manifesto. We are truth seekers. We raise the world's consciousness. We connect our mind, our body, and our spirit to improve ourselves daily and align to our purpose. We fight against self-limiting beliefs and conventional rules of thought. We fight against fear, sickness, and disease, and we believe in frequency. We are all connected, and we are energy. So that's what we're all about. If you're wondering what David Wong is about, what our community is about, that's what we're here to do. We want to seek the truth. We want to raise your consciousness, my consciousness, and together waves to the world's consciousness. We want to connect our mind, body, and spirit so that we become integrated as a person and as a community. We want to improve ourselves daily, aligned to our purposes, and we, we are fighting against self-limiting beliefs and also other people's conventional beliefs. We think differently from other people. And we fight against fear, we're against fear, sickness, and disease. We believe that we're naturally healthy and naturally abundant, and we want to fight against that. We believe in frequency, just like Nikola Tesla said, everything in the universe uh, can be described or can be encumbered by um, frequency, vibration, and energy. So that's what we're about. We, we're learning how to use and cultivate this energy that is abundant in throughout the universe. And in quantum physics, we see that there is this zero point field that is a source of infinite energy. And if we are able to tap in that, to that field of energy, we will have unlimited power. We'll be able to, um, scientifically, we'll be able to uh, power all of the uh, energy that we need to, on Earth and even beyond. Basically, anything in this webinar is not meant to be any kind of medical advice and uh, any technology or any products that you see is not meant to be diagnosis or treatment or cure of any disease of any kind for humans or animals. Welcome, everybody. Let me just say hi to everybody that's here. Um, so as usual, we're going to do some Qigong energy meditation. So right now, I think a lot of people are... Um, uh, there's a lot of riots happening. There's a lot of unrest in, throughout the uh, United States and even in many places around the world. And I think if we calm ourselves and if we meditate for peace and meditate for um, just calming, then things will start to become better and things will start to turn around and there won't be so much violence and there won't be so much um, you know, unrest happening. So. Let's learn how to calm ourselves in this situation. I know that when, whenever we wake up, we may hear the radio or watch the news or read an article, and there's always some bad news. So, you know, instead of doing that, why not just when you wake up to do a little bit of meditation, do a little bit of calming and centering yourself so that you can clean out any kind of uh, psychological toxins or physical toxins or chemical toxins in your body so that you can be more positive throughout the 
uh, throughout the day and also throughout the life. And imagine if you can do that on a daily basis, how much more centered, how much more calm, how much more productive and positive your life is going to be if you do that every day. And then one of the, uh, the things that we talk about in our technology is that we want to transform ourselves 1% a day. And that's what we do with our Chico systems and our wands, as you see, and then also our coils, is that we use technology to help us transform 1% a day. Now, do we need te technology to do it? Do we need all these things? Well, of course not. We ourselves as humans, we have all the technology inside us. We're born with it to become very powerful beings, to become very happy and be become very abundant, become very healthy. We have it inside ourselves. We just need to know how to unlock that, need to know how to cultivate that. And that's what we can do with meditation and with Qigong. And that's what I learned. I'm sure there's many other practices and, and techniques that will do the same thing. But basically, we're all going towards the same path, which is the path for self-improvement and the path for raising our consciousness and our health. So, so we don't need this technology that, that, that I, uh, I invented. Um, you can do it for free, but it's an uh, analogy of people who um, want to get to work, right? So people get to work different ways. Some people walk to work, some people ride a bike, some people take public transit, some people drive a car, some people take a plane, some people take a helicopter, okay? So everybody has a different way to get to one point or another. Uh, which way is can you um, will make it faster and easier for you, right? If, you're, if you live 10 kilometers away from your workplace, you're not going to walk there. Walking is free, but what do you do? You probably would invest in a car or a bike or invest in the uh, bus tickets in order, to, or, or in order to get there, right? You have to have some kind of vehicle. So, so this is what it is, right? This technology is a vehicle, they're tools for you to get to where you want to go faster. Um, whatever it be, to be better health or better um, peace of mind or to attract abundance or to even have higher spiritual resonance, right? So these are things, these are technologies and tools, and they are going to help you if you invest in them. All right, so today let's learn how to calm ourselves. So stand uh, straight, and if you're sitting down, just make sure you sit up straight and your neck is nice and long. Try to make your neck really long. And just imagine that there's a string hanging or attached to the top of your head and your whole body is just hanging from there. So your shoulders are loose, your chest is, is relaxed, your back is relaxed. But then from the side, you can see that it's fairly straight. Okay, everything's just hanging from the head like that. All right? And then I want you to cover your belly like this. So put your, if you're, a, if you're a male, put your left hand and then your right hand and lock your thumbs like this. Cover your belly button with the middle of your palm. Just feel where your body button is, cover it with the middle of your palm and then add the other hand and then cover it. If you're a female, then you put your right and then your left on top. So let's just start with that. And we're gonna do some breathing. So let's learn how to do what we call prenatal breathing, which is what uh, babies do when they breathe. This is how we breathe when we first come out of our mother's wounds is uh, prenatal breathing. So how it works is you want to breathe in and your stomach expands and when you breathe out your stomach contracts. So take a look. You can see I breathe in my stomach gets bigger, I breathe out my stomach gets smaller. So your hand is there so that you can put your awareness into that belly button position. We call it the Dan Tian, which is like a, about an inch and a half behind your belly button. And when you breathe in, you can feel that your, your tummy is getting bigger with your hands and you breathe out, your tummy is getting smaller. Okay. So breathe in. Breathe out. Do it nice and slowly. You don't have to make a big, big noise like I did I was just doing that so you can hear the breathing, but when you actually do it, you don't want to make a big noise with your breath. You want to make it as smooth and as slender and as long as possible. So breathe in, close your eyes, and just put your awareness there. Just feel that part, that Dantian, expanding when you breathe in and then contracting when you breathe out. Nice long breaths in and out as your belly rises and falls. So just 
put your awareness there, there and just just watch the breath watch the breath move in and out of your body just watch the breath go through your nose and down the windpipe just imagine that energy you're breathing in is going down to your dantian If you don't feel anything, that's fine. Just keep doing it. See if you can synchronize your breath. Feel that belly getting bigger. And just relax. So this is something you can do anytime. You can do it while you're taking a nap or when you first wake up. It's before you wake up, open your eyes. You know, most people, we have our cell phones next to our bed. I don't, but a lot of people do. Uh, you know, they will check their phone for messages right away. I, I recommend that you don't do that when you wake up. I recommend that when you wake up, just keep in bed, keep your eyes closed, and just breathe like this while lying down on the bed for about at least five minutes before you wake up. And then, then you open your eyes and you realize how much better your day goes when you do that on a regular basis. Okay, so now I want to teach you a different kind of breathing which is called reverse breathing. And what that is, is doing the same thing but instead of breathing in and expanding, we want to breathe in and contract our stomachs. So when I breathe in, I contract my stomach. When I breathe out, then my stomach gets bigger. Breathe in, my stomach contracts, you know, my stomach gets bigger. Now the key to this is not to tense your chest or your throat when you contract your stomach. So try to just isolate the contraction in your belly button. Okay, so when you're breathing in, see my belly goes in, I breathe out, my belly goes out. Breathe in, belly goes in, breathe out, belly goes out. Okay, so, so the, the key is when you breathe in and you contract the stomach, don't, don't tense up your shoulders. Don't lift your shoulders, don't tense your neck like this, okay? So try to keep everything else up here relaxed, but just contract the stomach inwards, okay? And it helps to actually press in, so it helps you to contract your tummy when you breathe in. So let's, let's try that right now. So I'm going to breathe in, contract, and then breathe out. Breathe in, contract, breathe out. Relax. Contract. Try to make it as long as possible. And then do the same thing. Close your eyes and feel the awareness there. Just feel your Dantian. Focus your energy. Perspiring, so that's good. If you're not feeling that, no problem. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep contracting and then relaxing, expanding, contracting, 
relaxing and expanding. When I first started this, it took me some time before I felt anything. It took me about about two months before I started feeling anything in my content. But then one day I was doing it, and then all of a sudden I said, like, "Whoa, I feel it now." So that's that's how things work in your body is that you have to develop these these pathways, these these nerve pathways, and we call them chi pathways. Um, just like your brain develops neural pathways, uh, it takes time to develop them. But once you develop them, they become there and stay there until uh, you develop something new. Okay, so it takes time to develop it. But once you develop it, then you can sense it. All right. So now we've done that. Now we do the three psychic centers. So just to tell you what they are, the first is the crown. We call it the ba ba hui, which is basically called the hundred meetings in Chinese. Uh, don't worry about the translation, but it's the crown, your crown point right here, about in the middle of your head. Second psychic center is your third eye, which is actually um, right there. But I like to actually go inside, so in the middle. So you go in straight here, and then you go above the ear, and then you make, and then that's when where they intersect. That's when you want to uh, focus your attention. And the next one is your dantian, which we just did, which is which is behind. So you go in about a half an inch and a half. So where this goes and this line meets, that's where your dantian is. So so it's behind your belly button. So let's do those three psychic centers. What we're gonna do is we're gonna gather energy and then wash it through that psychic center. Use your middle finger to guide the energy. So just imagine, use your imagination. If you're thinking this is weird, doesn't matter. It's just your imagination that's not real anyway. So don't, don't worry about it. So breathe in and then just imagine the white energy uh, going through your, your uh, crown chakra and then just washing down and relax to your dantian. Let's say it goes to there and then just really relax and let go. And then you open up like this. Gather energy in the big circle, like you want to grab as much as possible, make a big circle, and then guide it to your crown chakra. Just imagine it flowing down your whole body and relaxing. Okay? Keep going. And then when you're relaxing, you breathe out, and then you just like, oh, just really, just use that really relaxing breath. Like you just sat down in a hot tub and you're like, oh, that feels good. Okay, but when you do, oh, that feels good, don't don't collapse your whole body. Keep your, still keep the structure in your body and just relax the muscles. Relax your muscles and your intention while you keep the body structure, your skeletal structure still um, upright. And then gather to your uh, second psychic center here. And then breathe in and relax. So breathe in, energy, gather, breathe it in through your third eye to the middle of your head, then relax and guide the energy down to your dantian and then let go. Breathe in, relax and breathe out. If you have a headache, this is something you can do. It helps you to clear your head and helps you to um, just balance your mind. And just activate different parts of your brain. You do this well, you can feel your whole head vibrating and your whole head tingling. You can feel that good. If you don't feel anything, like I said, just keep doing it and just keep managing. You don't have to think about how to breathe anymore, uh, your belly going up and down, just breathe any way that you want at this point. Okay, and then let's bring it to our Dantian now. Bring it in, relax. Gather. Use your middle finger to guide the energy. By the way, if you had 
the cheek coil, or we have the cheek coil ab, or any one of our frequencies, now's a good time to be playing it so that you can combine that energy from the frequencies and from the technology together with these exercises and it makes it a lot more powerful. Okay, and then we do the fourth one, we're gonna gather energy from the ground, bring up here and then flip our hands and relax. Gather energy from the ground. Imagine you're scooping up a bunch of water from a, from a lake or from a river or stream and then you let go and let it fall. And then this is a good time to do a nice big ha sound when you breathe out. And the ha sound is the heart sound. So if you have heart issues, broken heart, heart tension, uh, anything to do with the heart, the more you go ha, then the more, then the, the better it is for your heart. You're actually uh, basically relaxing and soothing the heart when you go ha, and then do that noise, do that sound when you breathe out. Ha. Now let's try this. You go choo C H O O O O Choo Choo Now let's try shoo 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 Try who? 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 Okay, now let's try with just a uh, like use your teeth and go. noise by breathing through your teeth. And the last one is, uh, uh, what is it? He. 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 And then when you do that, so you can feel the vibration of your voice resonates throughout your whole body. He. He. All right, and then let's bring it back to our starting position. Do our green handle breathing. Awareness in your belly. Have to 
lift them if you actually bend down to uh, do it. It's better, I just, but you can't see me in camera. And then your feet, get your feet, and then shake and bounce, shake and bounce. Like you're flinging the water off your hands. And then take a deep breath and then say, all right. How do you guys feel? So I'm glad that helps you out. And let's say um, um, if you were stressed out today or you feel a little bit out of it today or tired, uh, how much many percent less tired or how many percent better did it get after this uh, session so far? All right, so, so these, are, these are exercises that you can do at home. Uh, love your classes. I can really feel a difference. Fantastic. Uh, Nikki says, 80% help me get up. I was so exhausted. Now I'm not. Yeah, fantastic. So, so these, are, these are exercises that are great if you are tired and you don't want to work out. If you're tired, you don't want to work out because then you get more tired, right? Because these are exercises that activate internal energy. Okay? So the difference in Chinese, uh, you know, traditional medicine is yin and the yang. So the yang is the external energy. We see like a bus thing, like, like uh, you can see it outside, right? You can see the speed. You can see, it, you can see the power, right? That's an external energy, but then in Qigong, um, it's internal energy. You can't really see it. It's, it looks really loose. It looks very weak, actually, but there's actually a lot of power into it. Like, I have a video where I can break a board just with a snap of my hand. So, in Chinese martial arts, um, there's two ways. Either you can learn stuff, like, with uh, external power, which is good too, or you learn stuff with internal power. So when you do these exercises, it doesn't look like you're doing much. You're just doing this. There's no real tension in your muscles. Okay, so contrary to sports medicine, they say you have to stress your muscles in order to grow them. Yes, you can. But there's other ways to grow your muscles that you don't even need to stress your muscles with. So a lot of people who are elderly or handicapped or in wheelchairs, and they can't do a lot of the exercises that people do, it's actually scientifically proven that if you just use your mind, to exercise the muscle without even moving the muscle, just imagine using the muscle in your mind, you get 60% of the same results as if somebody actually used the muscle, okay? And they've done these experiments. So your mind can actually create strength and, and resilience in your body. So what we're doing when we do Qigong is exactly that. We're actually learning how to uh, use our minds and our breath to connect our Qi so that we can become stronger, like actually physically stronger, and actually have more energy as well, uh, without using external energy. So without having to lift weights or run a marathon or something like that, okay? So this is great for people who, who need to do that because we have a question that says uh, uh, from someone who was in a wheelchair and, and he wanted to know how they can become stronger and healthier without exercising. So this is exactly something you can do. All right, so um, Martin says, Evan Nessie says, I uh, already practiced an hour and, well, hour and a half ago, so I feel optimal. Great. And Martin says, uh, more relaxed than 30 minutes ago. Fantastic. And uh, internal energy is important for our health, and it helps us move stagnant energy. Silk cotton fluid is fluted as water. Powerful internal alchemy. Anna says, very interesting. Uh, sitting Qigong is great for something, someone in a wheelchair. Yeah. All right, so that's fantastic. So if this is your first time uh, doing these exercises and you feel something, that's fantastic. Uh, most people do, but if you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, there's a replay, watch my YouTube channel and just do these on a regular basis. And then eventually you're gonna start feeling, you know, the things that people are describing here, hot, cold, numbness, whatever, right? And then when that happens, you know that something's happening inside your body. And you do that more and more every day. It's that 1% that changes in your, in your body uh, over time and after uh, a long period of time you'll realize you start to experience a much healthier body a more resilience uh, you get sick a lot less you're more alert you become more productive you're in better mood your relationships get better so it all starts with energy right so in my transformation course some of you already have that I talk about the five levels and the first level you have to get in order to do anything in your life is to have energy so how can you find energy? Without energy, you can't move up to the next level and to make any change in your life if you don't have energy. So this is one of the ways of getting energy is to practice Qigong. And once again, you don't need any of the technology. It's all free. We just did this. You don't need equipment. You just need to practice. You just need to know 
uh, how to do it. Okay, and um, if you have the equipment, then all the better. So uh, first question, how is this information found for you? What made it reality? So I had some comments saying that, wow, Debu, how did you learn all these things? Where, where did you get all this information from? You look so young, how come you know all this stuff? Well, I said, well, I'm not actually that young, I'm 38. So I may be young compared to other people, but I'm not in my 20s. Some people think in my 20s, I'm not. So how I found this information is just I had a lifelong um, quest to learn about Qi. When I was a little kid, I was introduced to Qigong from my uncle, who is a Qigong master in China. And he showed me some practices. And ever since then, I've been fascinated. I said, wow, is this just in my imagination? Am I feeling these things? Um, is it just make belief or is it real? Is there, is there any science behind this stuff? And then I've always wanted to find out like, what is the science behind it? What, how does it actually work? And now through my research and um, with technology and inventors and, and with um, just my personal research, uh, I found that there is a lot of science behind Qi energy. And then now I actually basically emulate the Qi energy with, with the technology so that anybody even without training, can experience it. What made it a reality? The second question is, um, well, I'm, I'm a creator. I'm someone that likes to create things. The same way I create music, the same way I create art. I like to have an idea, and then I like to manifest it and make it reality. And how do I do it? It just, it just happens. There's a, there's a process that I go through, uh, through my transformation system, how to manifest things. There's um, 16 steps. Uh, I don't have time to explain everything, but, but basically there, there's a process I follow um, to create, have something from an idea uh, and turn it into something, into reality. Okay, so there's a system for that. Uh, how can one improve their ability to learn? This is from Lady Claire at Gmail. Uh, no, I shouldn't say the email. Okay. Uh, edit that out later, okay? So this is from Lady Claire. And then she wants to know, how can one improve their ability to learn and comprehend? Okay, so I think in, in order to improve the ability to learn is to just keep your brain brain active and keep learning, keep, keep trying to learn. I think when people get older, they tend to either think they know everything or they tend to stop learning. Right? They stop actually taking classes or they stop doing something new and they kind of set into the, their um, everyday life and they're not really stretching their minds. Um, and the basic concept with your brain is that if you don't use it, you lose it. That's scientifically proven. If you don't use neural pathways in your brain, eventually they go away. So if you want to improve your ability to learn, then practice learning. Read some books. Um, take some classes, do some lessons, learn, find out what's the best way for you to learn. Find out whether you learn best with visual or audio or tactile. There's different ways of learning, right? And then, and then do something that will help you learn more. And the more pra practice you do learning, then the more easy for you to learn uh, more things. Um, one uh, really powerful uh, frequency that we have is the brain accelerator and the neuro, neuro accelerator frequencies we have with our uh, with our um, people systems or actually any system and those are actually help you to optimize your your brain waves for faster learning so that's also one way you can do it how can we remove negative subconscious blocks effectively that's right uh you have some feedback for the last question i missed this so yeah mindfulness is necessary for learning um uh, practice 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 and that says practice focusing your mind. And Bernice says, says adequate rest. Yes, that's always important. Make sure you get plenty of rest so you get those delta waves happening in your brain so that you can be in optimal shape to learn, uh, create new neural pathways. If you don't sleep, actually your brain stops learning. So make sure that you sleep lots. Uh, practice, that's right. And yeah, uh, the brain is natural and is plastic. So, okay, let's go to this question. How can we move negative subconscious blocks Effectively, that's a really good question. Uh, we are limited by our brains and our limiting beliefs. So how do we remove limiting beliefs? Well, I think one way to do it is to start to think positive and start to start to change the way that we we speak, because your the way that you speak actually is a reflection of what you think. So if you want to change the way that you think, change the way that you speak. 
and then that will change the way you think. For example, if you start saying, I can't do this, I can't do this, then you're basically programming your mind to know, to, to, to know that you can't do it. If you start saying, I can do it, or I will do it, or I'm doing it, or, or it's done, right? Then subconsciously you start to remove those blocks. So just changing your, your speech pattern will, do, uh, will help you remove some of those negative blocks. But what else can help remove blocks is to actually prove it to yourself that it can be done. Right, that's even better. So do something. If you say that, oh, I can't exercise or I can't do this or I can't do that. Well, go and do it and prove it to yourself. Prove yourself wrong if you can. Um, that's, you know, so, don't, so you don't live with yourself. Neurolingual programming or reprogram. That, that's right. Meditation, creative visualization helps. Yes, that's right. Uh, I definitely want to know how to remove that negative blocks, especially when I get mad. I have a hard time turning my angle off and tends to run the whole day. Uh, yeah, so what can you do? Anger, it's another another thing. So yeah, people get, you know, everybody gets angry uh, every now and then, and then sometimes you it stays with you, right? So so some of the exercises that we just did, the, the hooing and hawing actually helps. It helps you to reduce your anger. Um, some people like to go for a walk and do the same thing, right? Do some forceful breathing, like and then See, like imagine you're blowing out that negative energy, blowing out that, that anger, and then um, you might feel better after that. So how do you find your purpose? Well, one way to find your purpose is to figure out what your strengths are. And there's many personal personality tests that you can take online. Some are good, some are not that great, but there's some standard ones that, that companies use uh, pretty often. So find one of those. Take the personality test and find out what your personality generally does. Like, you know, are you introverted? Are you extroverted? Are you, you know, good at a certain, are you good with people? Are you not good with people, right? So, so find out what your personality's natural tendencies are, natural strengths are. And that will give you a good idea of um, where to start and how to focus your energy. Because there's a saying that if you focus on your weaknesses and try to make them strong, at the end of your life, you'll have a whole bunch of mediocre strengths. But if you focus on your strengths and make them even stronger, by the end of your life, you'll have a lot of amazing strengths. So what do you want at the end of your life? Just a bunch of mediocre strengths or a lot of amazing strengths? Obviously, if you want to reach your full potential, you want to focus on your strengths. So you find out what your strengths are. Um, that can help you find your purpose. Also find something that can connect all your, or your um, centers. We have our hearts. We have your mind, we have our spirit, we have our body, right? So what, I, I ask myself these, this question, right? Whenever there's a new opportunity that comes out, I ask myself, okay, what does my heart feel? What does my, what does my mind know? What's my knowledge, right? You know, how, how's my spirit reacting to this? And a lot of times, something makes a lot of sense. Let's say I have this deal, and then yeah, it makes sense um, financially. And it makes sense. I have the ability to do it, I can do it. You know, you could probably make money with it. But then, for some reason, my heart's not into it. Or I don't really feel connected to this thing. Or I'm really not resonating with um, this opportunity or this person. Then, then that already is a red flag, right? Um, so then you know that that's what you don't want to do. So if you do what you really love to do, then that's probably a good place to start. Find out something that you love to do. Um, and then see if there's other people that are doing it and see if there's other people who are, you know, creating an income doing what you do, uh, what you love doing. And then if that's the case, then you can focus more energy on that thing. How do you become aligned to it? So once you find your purpose, and that may take some time. It took me a long time to find out what my purpose is. Um, but then once you find it, then, then that's great, right? Fantastic. Congratulations. Because you're further ahead than most people, uh, you know, in the world right now. Most people don't know what the heck their purpose is. Most people don't even care. And a lot of people, um, they're not happy because um, they're, they've been living without any purpose. And just making a living and just surviving, right? Or just, or just like, or even if they're very successful, they still don't know what their purpose is. And they still feel empty inside. A lot of people like that. And... And so if you find your purpose, then congratulations, because you're further ahead than most people on the planet. 
So how do you become aligned to it once you uh, find out your purpose? It's basically take action, right? Make a plan. Well, how are you going to make this part of your life? If it's going to make it be a part of your life, uh, how are you going to are you going to use it? As, are you going to do it as just a passion, or are you going to do it as a way of living? You know, supporting your lifestyle, right? Are you going to do it in order to create an income, or are you going to just do it to just as a passion without any expectation of income? So you have to decide. Because there's two different paths, okay? If you just want to do it for passion, just, just keep it that and 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 that's one one path you can go. But if you want to do it as to make a living with it, then there's another different path. So to become aligned with it, you need to ask yourself these questions and you probably having a coach will help and or a mentor. Uh, or finding someone that's already on the path that you want to be on and then seeing what they did and see if you can follow them. So that's what I would do. Um, so do the research, how do you become aligned to it? It's a journey, you have to kind of figure things out. But uh, once again, in my transformation course, I, I give a, some pretty good meditation techniques and exercises for you and some life skills that you can use to help you uh, align to your purpose. So um, hopefully you take that course. Okay, next question. All right, so just some questions about technology. How well will I know it's working on me and my palms? And what kind of time will I see the effect? So this is about the cheat code, I presume. This is from Kendall. Uh, well, you'll know it's working for you when you can, when you have a, you know, if you feel different. Um, it's pretty simple, right? Like you turn it on, and then most people can feel it within uh, a minute or so. And then some people take a day, some people take three weeks, some people take longer. But eventually, but just use it on a consistent basis. Um, play with it. Try different frequencies, use it consistently, and you will notice changes inside yourself. You may notice that your brain is clearer, you may notice that you're in a better mood, that's very calming, you notice you're just happier, less stressed out. You may notice you have more energy, you feel lighter, you feel like you're more connected. So all those things happen. I would use a journal to kind of track um, the frequencies you're using, how long you're using it for, and then just, just track how you feel. How long does it take to, to experience the effect? And once again, it, it depends on the person. Some people are more energetically sensitive. Some people are less. So if you're more energy, energetically sensitive, then you'll feel it instantly. It's going to be have a, a more profound change faster for you. But then if you're not, it might take longer. Okay, it's just like, it's just like different trees, right? Some plants grow faster with, uh, with water. Some plants take a long time to grow. But all plants grow if you feed it the correct amount of water and sunlight and nutrients, right? So we are like plants, right? So some of us are more reactive or more um, plastic, uh, so to speak. You mean like malleable, we can, we're more flexible and then we're more sensitive to energies and some people are less. Uh, how Can you become more sensitive? Obviously, yes. Uh, with training, you can become more sensitive, just like a Jedi. The more you train, the more force sensitive you become. Okay, next question. Uh, it appears your wand has many frequencies that balance electromagnetic energy. I read this can be achieved with Kundalini. Uh, uh, how can I re achieve the same results with breathing and meditation? Well, just do Kundalini breathing and meditation. Uh, what we did there was a little bit of Kundalini because we we're kind of going up and down the spine. We want to start with a tailbone and go up the spine. So that, that's all Kundalini meditation is. It's just, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't haven't studied it, but from my understanding is that we're using, uh, we're, we're using our spine and then we're, we're, we're moving energy up and down the spine, which is one thing that we do, which is one thing that we do in, in our uh, Qigong is, is actually we want to cycle the energy. Okay, there's a, there's a practice where we cycle the energy in this circular motion, and there's another one that we cycle energy this way. Okay, so either time, whenever it goes there, we're actually going through the spine and down through the ground and around. So we're going through that Kundalini. So it's happening there. And uh, so if you want to do Kundalini, that's very similar when we do Chico. Quick que uh, question from WMC. Does the app give frequency or of music or does it give frequency? The answer is yes. It gives sound and it also gives electromagnetic frequency depending on 
whether you have a chico or another technology or a wand or a coil you can use the app itself to play the sound and the sounds themselves are pretty powerful on themselves okay so there's different sounds meditation sounds different frequencies that we found to be effective for certain things for example affinities attracting abundance releasing blockages trinity connecting to uh, god consciousness um, the cube sacred resonance so there's there's all these tracks that you can play and meditate with with just a sound but once you plug it in to a chi coil or a wand or an aura coil then it makes the sound into an electromagnetic energy it turns it into energy and if you if you have a chi coil you have you get one of these tested magnets and you can see it's vibrating when you're playing it so it's turning the sound into electromagnetic energy and this is the energy that um, that the quantum physicists are uh, study a lot is electromagnetic energy. Okay, it's really amazing um, how magnets can turn, and that's how everything our electric cars work. We're turning electricity into magnetic energy in order to propel the wheels in your electric car. All right, so uh, it's really mind blowing what kind of uh, what kind of uh, technology is coming from electromagnetism. What frequencies am I commonly using? I'm commonly using infinities. I'm commonly using um, life force. Uh, also, uh, qi energy activation, wisdom consciousness, all the master frequencies. Um, and then now, um, just a sneak peek for you that are interested is we have 100 new higher quantum frequencies coming out, which is the most powerful frequencies that basically on the planet and then I've been working together with my research team for the last little while and these are about to be released they're even more powerful than all the quantum frequencies that we have so today and we'll give you a little sneak peek later if you have time but uh, those are the ones that I'm using now and they just absolutely mind-blowing uh, so a lot of people ask the question can I try out the coils in person is there somebody or some practitioner that I can go to um, I don't know we have so many customers, but most of them are not practitioners. It's just regular people. We do have practitioners, but then we we might have one in YouTube, Utah. But um, the best thing is to just get a system. There's a, there's a 60 day money back guarantee on the coil. So I mean, you have plenty of time to test it out, try it out, try it on yourself, on your dog, on your cat, on your on your parents, or your, on your on your friends, on your family before you decide to keep it. So um, so there's no risk for you. Okay, that's the best way because um, I don't know which part of Utah some, if somebody has one there and how far you have to go. And right now, coronavirus is not the best time to be going meeting new people. So um, I recommend if you're serious about testing out the technology, the best way is just to order one and then you can even finance it and then you have 60 days to try it out. Right? The wands and the, uh, the auto clothes, they have 30 days. So you have 30 days from the time you receive to try it out. That's the best solution for you. Okay, another question. Should you detox before using the device or does it matter? I don't think it matters because when you're using the device, you're actually detoxing. It's actually detoxing. So the device is for detox. So it doesn't matter whether you detox before or after using the device. Okay, what's the difference between the transformation system and PMF therapy? This is from Am 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 Amaya. Well, PMF therapy is, is a technology and there's many products out there. Usually they're a mat, you lie on the mat and then they have some uh, electromagnetic uh, pulses come from the mat and they usually have a, you know, a handful of electromagnetic pulses, pulses and then it's supposed to help you feel the healthier and that's great. Transformation system is a whole system for transformation. So not only is it technology, not only do you get the technology, we have the gold coils, you can see in the gold box over there. You get a course and you get, um, you get over 180 frequencies for meditation. So PMF therapy is great for health, a lot of products out there like that. A transformation is, system is the only system that uses technology and has a course that teaches you how to transform yourself teaches you how to attract abundance and also gives you the frequencies, the powerful frequencies you need for basically meditation and to enhance your meditation. So I don't know any PMF therapy, 
system out there that does that. So that's the big difference. Another question is, how do you channel Qi energy? Uh, you mean you want to send Qi energy to somebody else? Is that the question? I assume that that's the question. This is from Crispy. How do you channel Qi energy? Well, first you need to learn how to activate Qi energy in yourself and being able to move the Qi energy inside your body, right? You need to learn how to move it from chakra to chakra, to, uh, to your hands, to your feet. Once you learn how to move it inside your body, then you can start learning how to extend it further outside of your body. So before you can move it inside your body and sense it, then, then I think you should do that first before you think about channeling it to uh, outside your body, okay? Want some good exercises to increase the flow of chi? Exactly those exercises we did today. Hi David, I'm wondering, is this frequency good for pets too? I want to know what the strongest model to use for the chi club. Okay, yeah. I have two dogs, so if you saw my post, um, one of my dogs had this lymph node, lymph infection on his neck, which is about, like the dog is this big, this big, and then the, the, the swelling was this big. So imagine how big for, you know, for a human, it would be this big, okay? That's how big the swelling was. And then I was pretty concerned. So he went to the, the vet and they said, um, okay, well, it's a lymph infection. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> then what do you do about it? And they said, oh, well, let's do a biopsy. And then here's some other antibiotics. And I said, okay, do the biopsy, but no thanks for the antibiotics. So I, I did the treatment on the, on the oracle. You can see this plate. You can actually put it down as a table and they can sit on top of this. I just put a towel on top of it. And then they sit on it. I did the, um, I did the lymph frequency and then in five days of treating it did 40 minutes a day and then it was all gone right without any antibiotics so so that's just my experience i'm not saying you're going to experience the same thing is the frequency good for pets all i can say is that yes my experience is that it's really good for pets but i'm not saying that it will do anything um you know medically it won't do anything medically okay so if you want to try it out that's up to you what's the strongest model of chico to use you can, all of them are very strong, um, but the one with the most value and the bang for your buck is the transformation system because then you get the most frequencies included, you get the course, you get the training, you get the gold coils, uh, you get the magnets, you get the so you get the works. So you can, any, any one of our systems are, are all strong. Another question, how can I improve my lot? Negativity is always just around the corner. This is what Walter is asking. Negativity is always around the corner. Well, you have to balance negativity with something else, with positivity. Find out where, where your negativity is. Ask yourself, where's this negativity coming from? Because if you can find the source and you can clean it out, then that might help you to get rid of some negativity. But I'll, I'll you know, to, to, uh, to ask, give you a specific answer, I'll need a specific question. How do I maintain flexibility in the brain? We discussed this already. This is from Stephen and um, just keep using the brain. You know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Just keep using it, keep doing, do some math problems or do some um, brain exercises. There's some, lots of apps that you can do brain exercises. Um, tai Chi and Qigong does a, helps you a lot because you have to, you coordinate your whole body. So there's tactile coordination, there's uh, visualization, there's breathing, that's really healthy for your brain. So I would do, those kind of exercises. Mandy wants to know how do I calm down and track better things, attract better things for myself. Well, do qi energy and meditation. Do breathing exercises. Do meditation. Use our technology. Um, that's how you do it. That's how you calm down. How do I get more energy? Just do what we just did. That's from Susan. So, so you see, how do I calm my anxiety attacks? That's from now, now now. Well, that's just another form of um, calming down. Uh, how do you stop being negative? So it's just another um, psychological thing. So yeah, basically with the Qigong, with the meditation, it, it solves a lot of the problems that people are asking, okay? People are asking how to get more energy, how to become calmer, anxiety, negative uh, mentality, more uh, calmer. All those things can be done with, with Qigong. All those things can be done with meditation. And all those things can be done with intense meditation through through our chi calls. Tamiya says, my brother had two strokes and has problems with the brain. What does he need to do? 
I'm not a brain, you know, neuro, neuroscientist, but my mom had a stroke too last year. And luckily, uh, she's walking very well now and she has full mobility now. And, um, and I gave her the cheek clothes to use every day. She has a, uh, two of these and then she also has the Oracle in her house. And now the doctor says she's fully recovered. Okay, so that's really well, really good. And, and that's what my experience is. Um, but you, with, with the brain, from my understanding, um, people say that you can't fix the ner uh, nerves in your brain. But I read a book saying that what, what the brain does is actually it's going to reassign different parts of the brain to do something else. So one part of the brain is, is uh, died, for example, that it had a stroke and then it died. Then what happens is that the brain will start to reroute the... Um, the purpose or the uh, function of that brain to another part of the brain and and it can be done so so I think there's ways to do that I'm not a neuroscientist as I said but uh, I would do some research into that and then find out what kind of things to help you to um, create those new neural pathways because like like some um, like I think Terry Terry said today I forgot who said today was that the brain is plastic. It always changes no matter of age. So people say that uh, you can't teach a old dog new tricks. Well, that's totally, totally BS because scientifically we now know that we can change our brains no matter what the age is, even after a stroke. So there's a lot of people who um, can do that. Uh, so I would do some research. Uh, I would experiment with the Qi call, uh, with some of our neural enhancement frequencies neuro brain meditation frequencies and see if that helps with that it definitely did with my mom so um i would just um test it out nikki wants to know what steps would you recommend to do for teenagers that think these kind of things are weird and are closed-minded teenagers are closed-minded i don't know get them to watch my youtube channel that's what i would do and um get them, get them to watch some videos on 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 these, uh, there's, lot, there's a lot of videos on my YouTube channel that talk about um, the technology itself. You can, yeah, just there's lots of YouTube videos out there that um, talk about chi energy or talk about um, electromagnetic waves. So I don't really, I haven't had much interaction with teenagers these days, so I don't know what kind of mentality what they have, but I know that a lot of them watch YouTube and and um if they think something is cool then then they will try it right okay how do i shift my negative energy to positive energy we cover that i have a heart condition that makes exercise very really limited can you suggest a system that can encompass both meditation and exercise together this is from laurel so yeah this is exactly what qigong is for you don't need to uh, do intense exercise and it, it involves meditation and exercise that's exactly what we did today so you're watching right now just go and repeat that exercise at home or you can watch the past webinars and just follow the exercise and and you're gonna find that it will improve yourself um, another one from Jackie she says why am I so sad all the time so I'm sorry to hear that you're sad Jackie but I don't know sometimes um, uh, some people are more moody than others sometimes I'm more moody than others and so sometimes uh, you may be tend to have um, more sad emotions uh, if you do when I have sad emotions what I do is just let it run its course but don't stay there right if you're, if you're, if you're sad for a reason something happened you lost something you lack something something tragic happened it's okay to feel sad it's normal because it's part of life and sometimes people say if you don't feel sad you don't know how to feel happy right but then allow yourself some time to feel sad but if you feel sad all the time then there's a problem you need to find out ways to make yourself less sad. So ask yourself, you know, what makes you happy? What do you have fun doing? Um, who are fun people or happy people or people that can make you happy? Can you maybe spend more time with those people? You know, what, what are some things that make you laugh? Uh, and, and things like that. Uh, what are some activities you can do that can make you more upbeat and raise your mood? Okay, so so find out how to do those things. Maybe do some meditation and 
you know, fi find out what it is that's causing this sadness. If if, it's, if you can't pinpoint it, then 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 um, then do all the things I I recommended. But if you just feel sad and you just sit at home and just keep feeling sad, it's, you're not your circumstance is not going to change. You have to do something. Okay. And many people who who use our cheat coils um, feel better. They just feel happier. Like for example, when I'm stressed out and I feel negative or fear. Uh, I know that that's wrong, and I'm not sure shouldn't be feeling that way. Um, I just okay. I, I better get some more cheek oil, or I better get some more oil, oil coil. So I sit here, I sit here, I, I do some meditation, I turn on the coil, and then I may take a nap, and then when I wake up, it's all gone. And when I wake up, I feel so much better. So it just energetically clears you out this technology. Um, so I would recommend that. Lacey asking, does it be does being mindful all day with breath, eating, showering count as daily meditation? Well, yeah, if you can do that, then that is meditation. But then how deep? You have to be really good at meditation in order to be meditation to the to the highest level while breathing, eating, and smiling, doing everyday life. So yeah, we want to be meditating our whole life and whatever we do. We're washing a car, walking our dogs, eating. We want to be meditating. So if you can do that, then congratulations. You're better off than a lot of people. But if you want to like focus on meditation, then you, you should just focus on meditation. Okay, that's what I have to say. So this depends how deep you want to go. If you want to go the deepest possible, then I would spend time uh, or even create a place where you can really focus on meditation and and then do that as a daily daily meditation um, if that's what you want to do how do i be totally relaxed all the time this is what barry wants to know so many people say well you can i don't think anyone can be totally relaxed all the time if you're totally relaxed all the time i don't think that you're really going anywhere like if you're like 100% relaxed all the time, I don't think you're really, you know, striving for anything. I know Bruce Lee says, the goal is to strive not to strive, but you still, you want to go somewhere, right? The goal is to be relaxed, but you, you still have to strive for something. So I don't think it's really realistic to be relaxed all the time. I think that we have, you know, ups and downs, right? Sometimes we're in tension, sometimes we're relaxed, sometimes we're in tension, sometimes we're relaxed. Um, but it's the learning how to relax yourself when you have too much tension. That's the key, right? Because some people get into a tension state and then they stay there and then that's what really destroys the body. That's what causes stress and then that starts to deteriorate your body's functions and heart conditions and all sorts of uh, diseases happen from stress. So I don't think people, it's realistic to be relaxed all the time, like your whole life. But I think there's ways to help you to be relaxed more uh, and to be relaxed when you need to be. Okay, so that's what I recommend. And how do you do it? Well, doing all the exercises, like I said, meditation and also using the technology. Okay, how does one become more connected to divine spirit? Well, yeah, meditation, because then you connect to your spiritual self, right? You just connect to spiritual um spirit um, you connect connect to to uh the spirit inside you and then the spirit um the higher spirit some some ways that you can do it is to is to make yourself a stronger transmitter so when we want to connect we want to connect higher right and in Taoism, uh the philosophy is that we want to have our bodies strong so we have a vibrant resonant body then our chi becomes more resonant and then it makes us into like a stronger satellite dish or a stronger sender and, and, and transmitter so just imagine you're this satellite dish and in order to receive signals you have to be have a strong signal you have to be able to receive strong signals and send strong signals so if you want to connect to your divine spirit and connect in a more more positive and strong way then first have a resonant body you need health 
and then your resonant mind. So you need to connect that. And then once you have that, then you can start transmitting your intention. And then you're basically you become more attuned to your spirit or the spirits out there. Okay. So Anna Marie says going by going within. Yes, that's, that's a good way to put it is to go inside and make those connections. So it's like your body is basically is like, um, it's like a biological computer. Okay. And it sends and receives messages, um, to the universe all the time. And you do that with your mind and your body is like the hardware. And the more in tune your body is and the healthier it is, then the more effective you are to connect to the spiritual, spiritual world. That's how I'm going to put it. What do you guys think? So that's the way I understand it because that's basically how my journey was, was taken is, is um, like sometimes when you are so um, sick and tired and, and depressed, like, like you want to connect spiritually, but you feel unconnected, you feel disconnected, right? But you, you, inside you, you still have this urge, you still have this desire to connect or to, you know, find meaning in your life. So what happened to, do, to me is even though I was going through all that crap in my life, um, I just never gave up and I always had the hope that life was going to get better and always prayed and um, eventually things got better and eventually I was able to connect but then it only happened after it, it became a process right so the more I got rid of the negative energy and the, and the blockages in my body the more I healed my body and my mind then the more I connected spiritually does that make sense hopefully that makes sense Daz wants to know, will this help my sex life? I think so. <laughs> Why not, right? If you have more chi energy, um, then yeah, you'll have a more active sex life. I would say so. For, human, for men or women, right? Yeah, if you're, if you're feeling if you're in a better mood and you're healthier, then, then because of that, you'll definitely have a better sex life. Okay, what is the best way to stay positive? Um, what I means to stay positive is to keep thinking things in a positive perspective and to not let negative things drag you down. So let's say there's a circumstance and then people are going to say negative things to you saying all sorts of things, right? Or post all sorts of nasty comments or whatever. And they try to spread their negative to you and project that negative to you. So a lot of times you can't avoid it because you know there's a lot of trolls on the internet, what whatnot. Uh, and not it's just the internet, there's maybe people in your life, like directly, that are negative. So how do you stay positive, right? Well, you need to really believe in what you're doing and believe um, in your purpose. Right? If you it's just like um, Martin Luther King, right? Now we're talking about this racism stuff recently. Uh, you know, he, he, he kept going, every, even though he, he knew his life was in danger. He knew that uh, if he kept pushing the, um, for, for integra integration, right? If he, he kept pushing for it, then, then, he's, then the, the big man is not going to like it. And eventually they're going to kill him. But he kept going anyway. And he kept staying positive. He was so stressed out and depressed. But he kept going because he knew what his vision is. He knew what his calling was was to was to fight for for uh, against racism. So, if you know what your purpose is, and if you know what you're fighting for, then that's how you stay positive. You focus on that. Focus on that purpose that you have. Right? Then it doesn't matter what negative people say to you because you know what your purpose is. Uh, I think that's the best way to stay positive. So hopefully that answers your question, Angel. Now, Tracy wants to know, can I bring joy and peace back into my life? Absolutely. Just believe you can. I'm, I'm you know, you can, you know, I promise you, I promise you that you will 
bring joy and peace back into your life. If you lost it somehow, if something tragic happened to your life, if some something made your life miserable or made your life hell, don't worry, it's gonna go eventually, okay? But you have to take control. You have to take action. You have to do something. Don't just sit there and expect things to change. Okay, you need to do something, do meditation, do exercise, or read a book, or find some new friends, or do something positive so that you can start to bring joy and peace back into your life. But if you're asking me, can you do it? Absolutely, you can do it, okay? Georgia wants to know, I have done Reiki, will this help? Yes, if you've done Reiki, then you know exactly how this stuff works. It's the same thing. It's just a different path. We're going to the same destination. So if you've done Reiki and you want to try this out, you want to test out the cheek clothes, then absolutely, that's going to work for you. Uh, how can I attract the right person for me in a relationship? Well, one way to do it is to first know exactly and specifically who you want to attract. Okay, so many people say, oh, I want to have the right person for me. Well, well, do you even know what this right person looks like or what's their mannerisms, like, you know, what they're interested in, what kind of personality they have, right? So be specific. It's just the same way that we manifest anything in your life. The more specific you are, then the more uh, higher chance that you're going to manifest this thing so or person. So write down, right? Just do some meditation again and do some visualization. So what's this person that you want to attract? What, what are they like? What do they do? How are you going to meet them? Okay, and just visualize that. The more you visualize that, the more, more um, focused you are and the more specific and clear of a vision of who you want to attract, then the chance of attracting that person is a lot higher. And then you can do other things to get you to that point, then, um, then eventually you will attract that person. Okay? Kinsey says, I'm in a wheelchair. I cannot do any strange positions. Can I still meditate effectively? Well, you don't need to do any strange, medita uh, strange positions to meditate effectively. You can do it meditation. All the exercises we did today in our Qigong session uh, is, um, is, can be doable in a wheelchair. How do you get back on the right path again? So I want to know, this is what Mandy wants to know. So... I don't know exactly what you mean by right path, but um, but once again, you need to find out specifically what path you want to be on, and then and then go backwards. Find out what steps you need to take to to get to that right path, and then start taking action and doing that. I'm uh, Tamala says I'm psychic and feel others' pain, and I'm learning how to protect myself, but it's so hard. So okay, if you're psychic, fantastic. So, um, you know, I'm very impressed that you have psychic ability. And what I probably get from that is that you have the ability to know what people are thinking or feeling. Uh, but you find that it's hard for you to protect yourself from the effects or the influence of other people's thoughts and feelings. Yes, sometimes, sometimes I have that too. So, um, I guess you need to learn how to have psychic protection. Uh, one of the frequencies that are coming out is called psychic shield. So you may want to experiment with that and that may help you. Okay, so one of the new higher quantum frequencies, there's about a hundred of them coming out very soon, has the frequency psychic shield. So I would recommend um, using that. Okay, another question. Do we have time for the rest of the questions here? Okay, we only have a page more of questions. Letitia says, going within is like checking inventory, checking in your, if your mind is in alignment with your heart. Always find the good in the experience. Yeah, that's a good way to, to say. Galaxy A20 says, one way to stay positive is by being grateful. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, so how to stay positive is to find the, find the uh, positive in the situation. For example, you know, my dog passed away. One of my dogs passed away a long time ago. And whenever I think about it, it's hard to think about it. It makes me sad. It makes me depressed. Um, so how do you get over it? Well, the time it takes time to get over it. But every time I have that sad feeling um, of loss, then I just think about the good time that we had while he was still alive. So I turn that sad thought into a happy thought. And then the more I practice that, 
then the sadness is not as strong. So that's why we do this, to, to be grateful. Be, be grateful. If you lost somebody, just be grateful for the time that you had with them while they were alive. Or, or some other situation. Try to find the positive in it and then turn that sad, depressing thought or negative thought into a positive thought. It's going to take time and um, it's not easy. And that pain will maybe still there for a long time. But the more you practice that, then the pain will subside and then the pain will be less. And eventually, hopefully, the pain will be gone. Okay? It's Reiki practice similar to Chi. Reiki is. Japanese training like that kind of lineage. Qi is more of a Chinese is similar. I haven't practiced Reiki, but there's a lot of similarity. Uh, with Qigong, there's a lot more movement involved of the hands and everything. Uh, I don't think they have that in Reiki. A lot more involvement of the whole body. And Qigong actually, a lot of it was designed for martial arts. It's actually designed for fighting uh, in martial arts. Whereas Reiki was designed, I think, just for healing or maybe other things. But Qigong was practiced by martial artists to enhance their fighting skills. So this is a slightly different approach. Uh, to further explain how the fuel energy synergizes to reduce and eliminate pain in various areas of your body. How does it how does this simultaneously while moving you to optimal health? This is from vision. Okay, so the question is basically how does the uh, energy field help you to eliminate pain and how does that help you move towards optimal health? Well, yes, it's actually happening simultaneously. I'm not claiming that this is a pain relief device. I cannot say that. Like, it's against regulations to say that it relieves pain, but many people who use it um, report that they, their pain goes down, their pain level goes down. In the same way that your pain level goes down when we do the meditation, the qigong practice, they experience this exactly same thing when they use the qi coils. So how does that help you improve your optimal health? Well, well from my understanding, you're activating the qi energy in your body, so now your natural body's processes are, are occurring and then you naturally become healthier, more resilient. And you naturally become um, clearer and in a better mood and you have more energy, you become more productive. So that's how you do it. It actually does all that. Justine wants to know, well, when I was concerned when I'm choosing a frequency, it, act, it actually indicates in the mind that you lack the frequency. So if you lack it and you want it, and wanting is all in the mind when you already have it inherently anyway. So you want to be more abundant and you're actually telling yourself you don't have it, but the mind needs to be retrained. Or could it be indicate scarcity of thinking and thought process that you don't have enough? Or could it mean the person is greedy and has enough but wants more than what they can do with? Okay, so this is a question from Justine. It's a good, it's a good question. I think... Uh, I kind of had this question in my mind before. Basically, long story short is, okay, if you want something, is that subconsciously programming you to think that you don't have it because you want it? So if you want something, you shouldn't want it. Because if you want it, then it's actually saying that you're not going to get it. So what do you guys think about that? That way of thinking. Okay. Yeah, it is a little bit confusing. Because it, I think it's circular logic. Right? It's like, if you want something, you're not going to get it because you want it. It doesn't make any sense. So how can you get anything, right? So I think it's simpler just to make it simple. Like, what do you do when you're hungry? You go and you get something to eat. What do you do when you're thirsty? You go have a drink of water or get something to drink, right? It doesn't make any sense. So, so when you're, you're thirsty, you're not supposed to think that you're thirsty. Okay, so the difference, the, the key is the difference between awareness and intention. Okay, these, you, I think, Justin, you're mixing, uh, you're confused about, or you're not clear about um, awareness and intention. Okay, so being aware of something doesn't mean that that's your intention. Okay, you read the news and then it's bad, you're aware of it, it's good, maybe you make a bad decision, you see, okay, coronavirus, 
is a uh, is um you know a second wave coming so what do you do maybe you take more precaution against it right so you're aware of it but then your intention is not like you want to get you know a virus right but you're aware of it you use your awareness to make a decision and then take action so that you can prevent something from happening okay so if I, i'm thirsty i'm aware i'm thirsty so what do i do i go grab a drink and then i'm not and drink it and they're less thirsty, right? So you need to dis- you need to be clear about the difference between intention and awareness. And awareness is okay. It's aware. It's okay to be aware ne- aware of negative things because that helps you be- make better decisions. But then, if your intention is on negative things, then that's where the problem is. Okay. So you need to have awareness, but then you need to have positive intention. So hopefully that um, answers your question, and then. So that you don't go in the cycle, that doesn't go in the circle of logic. And I think a lot of people have that because they watch the secret that they oh if I visualize something too much or I have you know visual focus on the lack, then I'm gonna have the lack. I don't think so. Well, you just need to be aware you have the lack, but your intention is not the lack. Your intention is to get what you want, right? How to manifest our desire with prosperity and abundance? Well. You have to start somewhere, okay? Maybe you uh, are not healthy, or maybe you have all these negative thoughts. Maybe you are anxious, anxiety, and all that stuff. You have to do it a step at a time. You have to get yourself healthy first. You have to have a healthy body and mind before you actually find your purpose, and then actually, and then that's before you find uh, your prosperity and abundance. So go through the process. All right. Many people will tell you, yeah, make money instantly. In three weeks, make a million dollars. It doesn't happen, all right? You have to have a process. It takes work. It takes training. It takes knowing where to go. It takes evaluation. This is a process. And then that's why I teach in a transformation course. I will teach you exactly the process, step by step, how I went from, you know, really shitty life to some, you know, pretty successful and happy um, abundant life, which I have now. So it's, it's a process. process and it, you have to go step by step. Okay. Everybody wants abundance, but, uh, it does take time and you need the right ingredients in order to do it. And then I think I found a way to shortcut it because of this, okay. Because of the Chico, I found a way that will help you shortcut it because the shortcut your way to become healthier and having a um, more positive met- mental attitude and, and and naturally start attracting prosperity and abundance. Hi, David. How do you start using... Okay, that's from Bhagwan. Hopefully that answers your question. How do you start using the Chi Cloak system? Is there a sequence to follow uh, from the album I downloaded? Also, do I listen to the playlist? Laying down, sitting down, walking. Um, sorry, I need the basics. This is from Carlos. Okay, so there's a quick start guide. You can just read that. But to answer your question, um, you can just use the master frequencies. Use any of them. You can you can listen to them anytime. The more you listen to them, the better. Okay, it doesn't matter when you're listening them, when what you're doing, whether you're walking, sitting down. Okay, the more you use it, the the better it's gonna be. How can I be certain that your technology works? That's a good question. How do I know it's gonna work? What if it's like it's fake? How do I know it's gonna work? Well, how do you know anything's gonna work? Well, first, maybe you can see if it's there's some science behind it. Is it just all make believe, or is it actually some science that goes behind this technology? And you can go to our website and you can see, or you can study anything about PEMF, pulse electromagnetic frequency technology. You can see like thousands of um, studies done by scientists and PhDs around the world showing how um, PEMF or electromagnetic waves. Um, actually benefit the mind and the body. There's so many studies out there, okay? Um, NASA did a report on it. Uh, so, so is there a science behind it? Absolutely. So that's one step. Second step is see if other people are experiencing um, benefits from, from it. Well, you can go to our website. Again, you can read all the reviews. Actually, I'm going to go there right now. Right? If you go to chilifestore.com, you guys seeing this right now? Let me see that. Okay. If you go to chilifestore.com here, uh, go to reviews here, right here, and then you can see, you can read all these uh, reviews. You got 
Okay, quite a lot. You're coming in all the time. You can keep keep going here. You can see all these reviews. Okay, you keep going on and on. Um, and you can see what other people are experiencing through the cheat codes. There's actually lots of them. And you can go to Resident One Systems. You can read all the reviews there. So we have lots of reviews from from people who are using our products. So that can probably help you to know if it actually works. What's another way to know how it actually works? Well, try it. Prove it to yourself. Prove it doesn't work. Okay, use it every day for the next 21 days and prove it that it doesn't work. Okay, follow the instructions, follow the course, follow the transformation course, and you know I challenge you to prove it doesn't work. Uh, and yeah, so test it out. Like you have 60 days, okay, to to test it out and see if it works for you. That's all I have to say. A lot of times people say, okay, I can't trust anything I read online. I don't know if it's real or not. Well, then just. Trust yourself, right? Trust yourself. Get one of these, try it out, and then, you know, seriously, you know, figure out whether this works or works for you or not. Okay? That's that's the only way. And if none of those things work, then what else can I do? I don't know. Do some meditation. See see what does your intuition tell you? Okay? Am I telling you the truth? Is it really working for me? Is this all made up or is this actually changed my life? You have to decide that for yourself. You know, what does intuition tell you about this product, about me? Okay, so that's all I can say. Will it help with a short attention span and the feeling of not having enough time? Okay, those are two different things, right? A short attention span. Short attention span, not having enough, feeling of not having enough time. Is that anxiety or feeling like you, you need to, you're rushed to do something? I think it's feeling unsettled. Basically, you need to feel a little more calm. Um, yeah, so I definitely if they, to help you feel more calm will help you to have a longer attention span and help you to feel like you have more time because when you're calm and relaxed, um, you feel that you have more time. So yeah, I would say so. I would say this will help you calm, calm your nerves and calm your mind for sure uh, to help you with those things. Okay, what do you do when you want something, right? Um, what do you, okay, so what do you say when you want something? You don't focus on the lack. Well, you can be aware of what the current situation is. So if you uh, need something, first of all, you have to be aware, okay, yeah, I, let's say I'm, I'm poor or I'm broke. Uh, you can say that, right? Um, you're aware of it, but you don't focus your attention on it, okay? Then you say, okay, what do I need to do to be not broke and not poor? And then what is it going to be like when I'm, I'm going to be successful or financially successful and, and, uh, and well off or at least stable, right? Or at least, um, you know, comfortable. So, and, and then determine what that looks like to you. And then you need to be in the present looking into the future. So say, okay, what do I need to do now in order to get myself to where I want to be? So notice what I was doing. I was asking questions. Okay. So that's one key. If you want to be successful in anything, you have to learn how to ask yourself effective questions or even ask other people effective questions. If you ask effective questions, then they'll get your mind to focus its intention on the things that would be effective for you guys in the work. Okay? So figure out what these questions are that you need to ask yourself in order to get to where you where you want to go. You know, that answers your question. You yeah, you need to use the coils. I rec highly recommend using the coils um, to, to help you speed up the process. Uh, would it helps remove paras would the coils help remove parasites or tape wounds from someone's body? Uh, or help prevent EMF damage to our bodies. Uh, I cannot make any of those claims, but you're welcome to try it out. All right, so we went through a lot of questions today. My throat is dry from all the talking. I hope that all these uh, questions help you to understand further how you can transform your life and hope you have a better understanding of uh, our technology and what we're all about. Hopefully you can join our community, join our family, it's growing fast and it's going strong. Now is a really good time to get involved 
Uh, and if you're interested in becoming an affiliate, we have a new affiliate program that's available for a limited time. So if you want to um, do something that's going to uh, promote a product, uh, our products, to people uh, who, who need it or people who are interested in it, yeah, here's an opportunity for you to make extra money from home, especially if a lot of you are, are still out of work and you're just at home. Uh, why not spend some time to actually create an, an extra income for you? So if you're interested in that, just um, go to our website and then there's an affiliate, affiliate program that you can apply for. And just so you know, right now we have a very special sale. You get a, a new boost upgrade with any system. You get a whole bunch of bonuses. You get the master class. You get Qigong lessons. You learn how, how to do all the Qigong. Quick start guide. You get my transformation uh, ebook. You get the app. And you get martial art lessons. You get seven days tech support, seven days a week. You get one year warranty. And that's not all. You also get another set of bonuses called the immune um, support bonus. You get the uh, Qigong Energy course, which is a five-week course. You learn all the Qigong exercises you need to learn from me. Uh, there's a frequencies for immune boost. There's also Coil Silver for immune support. So all that added up is over $2,000 worth of bonuses. And we also donate to healthcare, um, healthcare providers, a portion of our proceeds. So that's all included in any of the systems, the Qigong or the transformation system. With the Resident One systems, we also have a huge set of bonuses. All right, it's over two thousand twenty-six hundred dollars in free bonuses, which includes the practitioner course, the, the the stands for the one, the cases. You get a the laser gem lasers, which are amazing. If you want the only gem lasers you can get, you get the top. You get the practitioner system, the uh, the top that we can that I use for uh, the pets, or you can put food on top of it, or you can put water on top of it. So very limited time. Uh, make sure you go to chilifestore.com. Don't miss the offer, special offer. And, uh, and you can order now or you can call our number right now at 1-833-374-2645. 1-833-374-2645. Or email us at support at chilifestore.com. Make sure you spell chi with Q-I. All right, and just to show you the, the lasers, we haven't shown these for a while. So these are the laser gems. And they come with three color lasers. So you can press it. See, this is red. This one is blue. This one is green. So each color has a different effect. And then it comes with gems. So this is actual topaz. Really nice gem. So a real gem. You see that? And when you put the, the laser on it, look at that. See, it makes a really amazing pattern. So now you can cover a lot of area with your laser Okay, so you can use this to stimulate your acupressure points on your hand. You know, you can stimulate your third eye like this. You stimulate your th throat chakra. You can do your acupuncture points in your ear and so on. Okay, make sure you don't shine it into your eyes because there's are actual lasers. These are cold lasers, they're perfectly safe. So, you know, you can use them as long as you want. You stimulate pressure points in your hand uh, and then they have you know, just different gems that you can use. And then you can see the pattern here. So really, really cool. So you get one of these sets included in the, uh, in the practitioner package. So a $500 value. Pretty cool. Uh, let me just show you where to go to become an affiliate. So if you're interested in becoming an affiliate, you just go to chilifestore.com and go all the way to the bottom. You see this link, affiliate program, you click that, and then you fill out this form, uh, do a quick survey, answer the questions, and then we'll get back to you when you get approved. And when you get approved, you get your own special link. You can post, post that on Instagram or Facebook or any of your, or you can email out to your friends and family uh, or on or YouTube, wherever you want to do it. And then whoever clicks the link comes to our website, buys a product. So you go and buy a sheet coil system or any one of our frequencies, transformation system, even if they finance it, you're going to get a commission. Okay, And so all the training is inside. Uh, how do you become an affiliate and what to do and how to make the post? Once you get approved, you can go into the affiliate panel and all the training and tutorials are inside there. All right.
So there's a one way you can make money from home. You can just make money making posts, posting links on um, you know social networks or your own Facebook page. So it's pretty pretty quite easy. All right. So let me see if there's a thank you so much, David, for covering so much and answering so many questions and sharing your knowledge with all of us. You're welcome. All right. So thank you for coming to David Wong's webinar. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time. Um, Next, same time, we're going to be 6 p.m. now, we move, 6 p.m. PST and 9 p.m. EST. So until then, use the chi and prosper.